to find a time and strangely there is something just like that called find a time so i'm gonna book an appointment with rebecca and i want to make this easy as possible so here i see rebecca now i'm going to tap anywhere i'm going to go to find a time now i see rebecca and myself i see that i'm available all over the place she's available here at two o'clock that makes my life quite a bit easier uh, let's say I need to find another person. Let's just tap anywhere. Find a time. More options. Let's find some people here. I want to find Rebecca. I'm going to find Christian. Find a time. So now I see them both over here. If I can scroll down over here. The 2 o'clock time works for Christian as well as Rebecca. So I can just tap on here. And I can add a meeting and from 2 to 3, it looks like they're both available. I might make this to 2.45 cause, or 2.50 say because Rebecca might need time between the end of this meeting and the start of her next. Now once I save it, it's going to ask me if I want to send invitations because people are there. Of course, as you know, there's also other ways we can do things like add agendas and uh, share documents at Google Meets, um, which are all just native to this app. So there you go, that's an easy way to find a time for somebody. We're all meant to be using our calendars, so we should, always, we should always be able to see when people are available. It should be easy to find a time to meet. There you go, enjoy. And let me know if you ever have any questions, of course.